In this video, we will learn how to insert or delete columns, rows, and cells. So let's say I forgot to enter an important information about our products. Typically, each product should have a unique product number or an ID. Companies having lots of products need a unique number to identify each product. Numbers are better for databases than names or text values. A good practice is to enter these unique numbers or IDs in the first column of our data set. But we've already entered the book names in column A. So now how can we insert a new column in this data? In Excel, it is very easy to do such modifications to our data. So let's take our mouse pointer, go to column label or letter heading there A, and right click and which will select the entire column A and also will give us this menu for us to use. And I am going to choose insert. And when I do that, Excel will create or insert a new column and will call that as column A. And then the names of the books will now be in column B and everything will be moved one column to the right. And please remember that Excel has not added more columns than its limit of 16,384. You still have the same 16,384 columns available for you in Excel. Excel has just deleted the last column on the right and created one here instead of that. So we don't have an additional column. We just have moved one column from the end to the front. Another way of inserting a column is using this menu item here. So before we do that, let me use Control Z to undo what I did. And now let me show you how you can use the menu here. So I have selected now cell A1 and I'm going to click insert, insert sheet columns. And this will insert a column here. And that's because I was in a cell in column A at the time. So it created or inserted a new column to the left of that. So wherever your active cell is, when you do insert, it's going to create columns to the left of that. You can also insert multiple columns at the same time. And you can use either the right click option or you can use the insert sheet columns option both of those methods would work. So let me do control Z to undo and let's see how we can insert multiple columns. So I'm going to select all these three columns A, B and C and I'm going to right click and insert and this will insert three new columns for us. And I will do control Z again and for example, I can choose these three cells or maybe even these three cells and I'm going to go to insert sheet columns and you will see that we have three new columns created or inserted. And let me do control Z to undo again to bring it back to where we were before. Now, just like we can insert new columns for us to add new information, we can also delete columns if we don't need them anymore. And for example, let's say I don't need this column of information anymore. I can select using my left click and then right click and do delete. Or I can just start with directly right click on the column label A and I will be able to get this menu option. And I would be choosing delete here and this would delete that column and all the columns on the right will move to the left. So if you remember, the author names were in column B and now they have moved to column A because I deleted the original column A. So this is something you need to understand. When you are deleting or inserting columns, the column labels will, will not be changing. It's just that the data will be moving to the new columns to the left. Or if I'm inserting, it'll move to the right. If I'm deleting, it'll move to the left. So keep in mind that the column label positions are not going to change only the data is moving. And just like the inserting function, I'm gonna do control Z to undo. Just like the inserting operation, 
the delete operation also can be done using both these methods. So I can just select this column and I go here and then say delete sheet columns or even I can just select one cell in column A and if I go here and do delete sheet columns, that's gonna delete the entire column A. And let's try that, there we go. Entire column A of the book names were deleted and everything else will move one column to the left. I will do control Z again because I don't want to delete it for now and bring it back to where we were. Now let me insert a column because I really wanted to enter the product ID. So right click, insert, and now let's say I want to enter my product ID information here. I can go ahead and do that. But I would still like the date and the time that we stored to be in the first column because now it has moved to the second column because of our insert operation. So how do we go about making sure that only this data was moving to the right, not the date and time? In order to do that, we can use another menu operation that we have. Go back and delete this column now just for a second to illustrate how we can insert cells. So now I'm going to select cells A1 to A5 and then I'm going to select right click and this gives me the option of insert and I'm gonna insert. The only thing which is different now is earlier I was selecting the entire column and then selecting insert. Now I have only selected these five cells and I'm going to click insert. And now instead of inserting a full column, Excel is asking me, what do you want to do now? What do you want to insert? If I choose shift cells right, what's gonna happen is these five cells that we have selected will be shifting to the right which means the names of the authors will move one column and everything will be moving one column to the right. And let's try that. And as you can see here, now all the information, all the columns here in the first five rows moved one column to the right. And because we only selected five cells to begin with, and it left a blank new cell in these five cells. And the date here and date and time here has not moved because we told Excel that I just want you to shift the cells to the right, not the entire column. Now, let's say for example, I also want to enter a new book in between, let's say these two books. Now, how can I do that? So I can go and insert a new row between row four and five information here. So I can go to row header here, row five, click, right click, and I can do insert. And this will actually insert one row above where I was. So before the Wings of Fire book, I have a new row now, and which is an empty set of row. And now I can enter another book information here in this row and the entire row was inserted, not just the cells what we can see, but it's actually the entire row all the way to the end of the worksheet. Similar to how we can insert multiple rows at the same time, you can select multiple rows and then click insert and that will insert multiple rows at the same time and they will be blanks, blank rows. So let me do control Z to undo that. Now we know that we can insert column or multiple columns easily. We can insert a row or multiple rows at the same time. We also saw how we can move only the cells shifted to the right. And similarly, we can also, for example, let's say I'm choosing these two cells. And then if I click insert and I can move the cells down, for example, here shift cells down. And if I choose this option, these two cells will move down which means the wings of fire information will also move down, which means everything below these two cells will move one row down. And the date and time information, which is currently in cell A8, will also move down to cell A9 if I choose this option. So let's try that. So you can see here, I can move a selected group of cells. I can shift their position very easily. I can also create a row or multiple rows, a column or multiple columns very, very quickly so that I can add more data 
to my data set. I'm going to do control Z just to and do that. So if I don't need the blank row here, I will right click that and then click delete and that will delete this row completely. And we can also use delete menu item here to delete a row or delete specific cells. You have two ways of doing it. You can use the mouse and use the right click or you can use the menu here, whichever is more convenient to you. So I'm going to type in the information about our new book and that is going to be ignited minds that would be apj abdul kalam and that will be in the year 2002 and that will be 300 rupees 10 percent profit margin and another thing i think i made a mistake here this should be 1999 so i'm going to click on cell d6 and then change it to 1999 and we can't see this information in this cell because it's too wide. So auto fit it so we can see. Similarly, auto fit this column so that we can see the entire name. So now we have the information about our books just like before. We've added a new book. And let's say I don't want to enter the product ID immediately. I want to you know, do something else before I do that. So let me just right click and delete. And it'll ask me what should I do. Shift cells to the left and that will shift to the left without impacting any of my data. Now we have completed adding a new book information to our data set.